Hi guys, we are back again. Welcome to the Devil's Playground. How are you, Harry? Well, I got to tell you that uh, the last few weeks <laughs> I wasn't doing a hundred percent because of this, uh, the you know, this, the oral surgery that I had. But uh, yeah, I'm I'm perfect now. Good. No meds. No, I'm not taking anything. So I am back. That was interesting what you told me about the one, two, three, four. Do you want to share that with everyone? Yeah, I mean, one of the things that we talk about a lot is how Nigel always sees the one, one, one. Um, I always see a, a one, two, three, four when we're looking at clocks or, you know, a lot of times just I see that time. I, I can see it at least once a day or sometimes even twice a day. But uh, uh, during the time where I had the uh, infection in one of my teeth, uh, I was taking some anti-inflammatories and, of course, uh, antibiotics as well. And uh, during that time, that probably good 10 days, I, I, I don't think I saw it more than one time in 10 days, that one, two, three, four. Uh, again, but right after those meds were out of my system, I started seeing it again. That's crazy. That's crazy. Yeah. Um, all right, guys. Well, I'm going to share something with you. Um, uh, Harry and I had a, a long chat yesterday. Um, even before I went to bed last night, 11 o'clock, I come across something else and I'm sending him text messages. Bro, are you up? Are you up? I mean, it would have been seven o'clock in the morning his time, eight o'clock in the morning. And uh, fortunately, he was and we jumped on on Zoom for half an hour um, because the day that I had yesterday, um, <coughs> it, it, it it was insane. It, it absolutely blew me away. I was crying uh, and I never cry. I never cry. But but this, this yeah, I shed a few tears yesterday. Um, so we're going to share all that with you. Uh, we're going to blow some minds. Um, the first part of the presentation, though, I just want to offer um, something to um, some people who have contacted me um, that are surrounded by normies, for want of a better word. Um, and a lot of the time, you know, we're never going to wake, um, wake these people up. But, um, but in case this kind of um, helps, uh, where are we? Let's, um, let's have a look at, and you can, you can find all this, all this stuff is easily accessible. You can find it all um, uh, online. So we're just going to run through just, just for five minutes. Subliminal advertising, advertising music, atmospheres, subliminal messages and films can have an impact on our emotional life and we cannot control it because we're not even conscious of it. This is what they say our conscious mind is versus our subconscious mind. Now, before I, um, I get into this, I want to make sure that you've seen this podcast on the channel. It's number 61 six in the sit eye what you're looking at is the greek this is the um the the thumbnail what you're looking at is the greek for 660 and six okay um so if you haven't seen that one please please do i'll, I'll try and remember to put a link below all right so this is just a compilation of various um stills pictures from various um cartoons uh, needs no explanation. You can see it for yourselves. Um, the the tomato sauce one always tickles me. And 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 if you look closely at this, this looks like a face here. And this Sorry. looks like yeah. Can you see it? Can you see it, Harry? Oh yeah, yeah. It's clear yeah. as a bell. So obvious. And of course, the top right, it'll blow your mind away. The super seven incher. Right. I mean, lemon sorbet. I'm just look at the picture. Uh, 99 cents. This one right there is a dollar. There's a, a close up of it. Yeah. Uh, if you don't buy, you suck. Why do we say you suck, Harry? You suck at maths or, you know, when it comes to that, he sucks. You know, yeah. has, has it got any? Has it got anything to do with? <laughs> it's uh, it goes back to what we talked about the last yeah. podcast. Yeah, Succeeding. absolutely. Succeeding. Succeeding. Yeah. yeah. 
now this is obviously SFX is the magazine, but it's been deliberately um, created to look like that. They could have used any letter on that uh, on that skittle. They didn't have to use the e, the S. Um, for those who are not aware, this is the what's called the yellow pages. This is an old phone book from the UK. Um, we had white pages, which was residential names, addresses, phone numbers, and we had yellow pages, which was all business. And we've shown you this one before, guys. This is an advert for a carpet laying company. You know, if I'm looking at that and, and, and you walk up, opposite, you're, you're standing opposite me looking down at that advert, then you're, you're seeing that. Uh, this is the, uh, the Seychelles, the 50 rupees note. Look at the far right behind the queen's head. I mean, you can't make this up. You can't make this up. This is an advert for hairdressers. Um, many of you will be aware of the, um, you know, the, the formation of the word in the clouds, S-E-X. Um, nothing to see here, guys, is there? I mean, this is uh, an airline company. Uh, an airline company, look what's in the background. Um, this is a teacher in a school or a college uh, touching the back of a student's um, head, right? Um, there's, there's nothing going on here, but they want you to think there's something going on. Great buns. This, this is something that a lot of people might not be aware of. Uh, and if any of you have got this, I'm sure you're going to go and grab it. Um, because look, I mean, this company is, is probably the worst um, for, for, for doing this kind of thing. Look at Tangled. If you look at the, um, the, 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 the male and the female cartoon character on the, the, the cover of Tangled and look at the scarf, look at the rope that they're connected with. Um, I, I meant to find it and put it in there. This is a advert for Club 18 to 30. I mean, you can pause the video, you know, and just have a close look. Look at the dog. Um, what's this guy doing? You know, just look at the, the head versus the, the lady that's sitting opposite him. You know, I mean, this is so in your face. It ain't funny. Yeah, it's, um, it's deliberate. It's totally deliberate. Oh, yeah. And they're, they're saying, oh, no one's going to notice this unless we point it out to them. Yeah. But uh, yeah. we, we saw a lot of this stuff happening in the days of when Ed Bernays, Edward Bernays was... Uh, uh, teaching the industry how to advertise and change the minds of the yeah. masses. Yeah, yeah. Again, an advert for cold beer, but if you're looking at it, if you're facing me, you're standing opposite me looking down, you're seeing that. You know, I mean, this is not by accident. Bread is life. Mm -hmm. You know, many people have seen this in the clouds. Um, so, okay, let's accept the fact that all these adverts are just the case of the advertisers having a bit of fun. Okay, well, we know it's not, but, but let's, let's stick with that for a minute. Parliament, pick a number. Many of you have seen these. Look at the bottom right, 1994. Bottom left, 1997. We've all seen them, guys. You know, but how many of you have shown these to your, your friends, your family that are walking around totally oblivious. Yeah, 1994, insane. And do they do it to the kids? Well, if you look at, the, this is just the Wikipedia's um, explanation for chasing the dragon. A slang phrase of Cantonese origin from Hong Kong referring to inhaling vapor. Well, if you smoke cigarettes like I do, when you inhale vapor, you take a puff of the cigarette. Puff. Remember this? Peter, Paul and Mary, puff the magic dragon. And where have we seen those names, Harry? Peter, Paul yeah. and Mary. I mean, yeah. where, where, in which book, in which very famous book do we see those names, Harry? 
Can you think the of bi- one? The Bible. Oh, of course. The Bible. And we're going to be doing a whole podcast on bull, guys, because what the, the information that um, I've been getting, I've been collating uh, lately, is, again, it's off the charts. So talking of Bible, now I'm going to change the subject a minute here because I want to show you something that blew me away. And I've got to say thanks to Jeff D for this. Um, something popped up in, in, in one of my feeds and I went and looked at it. So this, this is going back to our copy and paste um, that Harry and I have, have, have spoke so much about. If you haven't looked at our copy and paste podcast, please do. It's the most watched podcast on the channel. Okay, so we're all aware of this. In the beginning, God the Elohim created the heavens and the earth. I want you to look at the Hebrew for earth. Okay, just look at it. Genesis 1, 2, and the earth was formless and void. Okay, can you see that little accent above the what looks like an X? It ain't there. And W upside down E, 853. 776 for the earth. 776 for the earth. That symbol there is and. Look what happens. Oh, I've blown it up here. All right, you can see you can see better. Let's give them the benefit of the doubt and say that's a colon. All right, so we've got one, two, three, four, and we've got three syllables, 776. And one, two, three, four, but we've got one, two, three. We've got five symbols here, and we've got um, four um, uh, syllables. Syllable, there's another bull connection, Harry, by bull, yep. syllable. Yep. Um, silly bull. Silly bull, yeah. So we've got 776, 776. Now, what happens when I put it into a Hebrew-English translation? This is Genesis 1.1, and it's giving me the word haretz, whatever haretz means. I mean, it, it's supposed to be English, but it's it, this is what it came up with. And when I put in Genesis 1-2, I get and the TZ. Where's the H-A-R? Where's the Harry gone, Harry? He's disappeared. Because it ain't the same earth. Yeah. Now I put it into this translator. This is Genesis 1-1, one, one, and it translates it as country. And Genesis 1-2 translates it as the land. So we have been conned. We have been lied to. What, what information, guys, can we get from Genesis 1-1? One, one? In the beginning, the Elohim created the heavens and the earth. When? How? Well, there's nothing there. The story actually begins in Genesis 1-2. Now, I'm also, when I've done this, I'm also going to demonstrate there are two Yahwehs, there are two Adams um, with different numbers. You know how you've got the 776, Harry? Yeah. yeah. Well, in Genesis 5-1, Adam is, is number 121, and in Genesis 4-1, Adam is number 120. So, what we're talking about is in the original creation, the Adams would have been the Tartarians. Genesis 1-2, we know it was destroyed because the word here was, is Hayatar, is actually became, and the earth became formless and void. So we know it was de- destroyed, but we already got the original Adams from the Elohim. So we've got the Elohim Adams and we've got the Yahweh Adams. Right. And this is an absolute yeah. fucking mind blow when I get all this put together for you. Yeah. Two distinct creations. Absolutely. Absolutely. Two, two, two different earths, the original and the copy. Now, yesterday morning, I woke up at 6.30 to go to the bathroom and I had this word in my head. Where it came from, I, don't, I have no idea. Lenophantic. I don't even know how to spell it, but I keep a pen and a pad next to my bed and I wrote it down because I knew that when I you know, went back to bed and, and, and got up at my normal time, I'd forget it. So it's got 11 letters. It doesn't mean anything. I typed it into a search engine to see what it means. No results, zero results. So I put it through an anagram solver and the closest or the nearest I got was non-ethical and phonetical, which is very interesting when we come on to the third part of the presentation in a minute. So then I tried Lenophanticism, and the closest I got was Phoenicians. 
But the interesting thing is that it's got 11 letters. Why is that interesting? Because this song was going through my mind. This, um, this line, give us this day all that you've shown me. And it was playing over and over and over in my head um, all day, all day. And I couldn't remember the name of the song. I couldn't remember the name of the band. I couldn't remember anything. So I did a lyric search and I found the song Ultravox. Um, and the song is called Him. Now, I'm not going to play it because I don't want to get um, copyright, but I'm going to leave the link to this one um, in, the, in the description because I really want you to listen to it and look at the words. Because when I did, I was crying. I, 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 I'm not ashamed to say it. It actually made me cry. And we'll, I'll, I'll run through the lyrics in a sec. Um, but the, uh, the, the, the point is, this song came out in 1982. I live in China. It's not like I heard somebody playing it. So why did this song all of a sudden pop in my head? I probably haven't heard it for 30 years. Yeah, it's funny, Nigel. One of my favorite songs from the 80s and 90s uh, groups. Yeah, so it's funny that you and I both are very familiar with their albums and their songs. And when you when you shared that link with me and I'm like, oh, I know exactly the band and the song you're talking about. Yeah. But because of our you know, having having liked them so long ago, we would have never thought that what their lyrics are going to tell us. No, could they, they, they never wrote this song. I mean, I, I don't believe that these bands write these songs. No, of course not. So let's let's just let's just have a look quickly at the lyrics. Give us this day all that you showed me, the power and the glory till my kingdom comes. Give me all. I want to put the word that in there. Give me all that the storybook told me, the faith and the glory till my kingdom comes. And they say that in our time, all that's good will fall from grace. Even saints will turn their face in our time. And they told us that in our days, different words said in different ways have other meaning from he who says. Really? Remember this one, Harry? Significant yeah. sign yeah. if I can't have other meaning from he who says in our time. And they say that in our time, we would reap from their legacy. We would learn from what they had seen in our time. And they told us that in our days, we would know what was high on high. We would follow and not defy in our time. Faithless in faith. And the most important thing of all, we must behold the things we see. And then the chorus again. It's a, it's a, it's a great song, guys. It's a lovely song. And then um, after we finished our chat yesterday, Harry sent me this. And I looked at it and I went, whoa. And then he, because um, he sent it me on my phone, and it wasn't until he sent it by email that I could see. Look at the right-hand side of the, um, of the square, guys. It's broken. What are they telling us? Okay. We've got the two pillars. We've got the sun, the moon. We've got everything there. But I want you to look and notice that the square is broken. This is the one that I, um, that I found, which is... Um, very, very strange, but it's actually in the video. And we're going to go through that in a sec. Him. Number 11. It reached number 11 on the UK singles charts. Your number is haunting you even from the song. It gets better. Mm -hmm. I got all this information yesterday, October the 23rd, which adds up to 11. 11 date numerology. Ultravox is 11. Give us this day all that you showed me. That's the line that was that would not leave my head. It's nine in all four English ciphers and Chaldean. Put the whole of that um, line in. Give us this day all that you showed me. The power and the glory to my kingdom comes is 11. And we have the 811 or the 118 again. But in, more importantly, we've got the number 11. Can't make this up. This is from 1982. Now, before I went to bed last night, I'd um, uh, uh, another version of this song popped up in my 
in my feed and this is why I contacted Harry before I went to bed and we're going to run through that in a sec because you know we live in the world of duality and this is the last slide and the presentation it's just an apple tree now why is the apple tree there I was watching a um uh, a compilation video over on BitChute yesterday and um that it was it was pretty much cartoons but one of the most important things was what was the 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 bad guy the the devil the satan whatever you want to call him had been captured and he was on trial and the question that he was asked was why do you want our souls and the answer was we don't want your souls we just don't want the good guy to have your soul so think of harry's apple tree it's not really harry's apple tree yeah my apple tree your your apple tree now harry loves apples Whoa. and i i don't i i hate apples so why would I go, Harry, and take all the apples off your tree? Well, if you don't like them, but you're taking them, it's because you know that I love them. And I don't, and you want, don't, them. And I you don't, don't want me to have one. I don't want you to have them. No, no. And when I saw that, I'm like, oh, shit. It was so obvious. So what I want to do, guys, um, before we finish, before we wrap this up, um, I just want to run through, uh, hopefully this is going to work. I'm going to, I'm, I'm not going to play the music, but I want to play the video um, and show you. Okay, that's, that's that, um, that picture um, on the Ultravox cover on the presentation that I showed. So it starts, starts off with a handshake and the guy's getting up, walking out of the cinema, right? Whether the movie's finished or not doesn't matter, but he's the only one. The screen. Remember, the screen. We are living in a simulation. He stops outside of a poster um, and bumps into the, this guy. Raiders. Raid. What is happening, Harry? I, I've just raided your apple tree. See yeah. the green see the green eyes? Yeah. Okay, now we're on a movie set. The guy's getting down into um the, the, the chalk chalk body outline. Then you've got this guy who puts on the helmet. I mean, is this the news? Uh, or is it a movie? Who knows? But what look at what they're showing. The smile. Now he's um he, he's a wannabe politician standing on the street corner handing out um little uh, flyers, leaflets, whatever. And here's that dude again. No seems, yeah, no one seems pretty interested, right? Yeah. Until. Yeah. He signs the contract and he becomes a very, very famous, well liked politician. What's he done? He signed the contract. What's he sold? You're going to see at the end. It's interesting, guys, that this um, particular video is four minutes and 44 seconds long. Four, four, four. You see, four, four, four. You can't make this up. So, power to the people. He's now he's playing in a club. God, I play. I, I did this for years. He's playing in a club. He's looking around and he's thinking, "Oh, screw this. I don't. I, no, I don't want to. Nah, this, this this ain't for me." So he walks mid set. He walks out or tries to walk out, and here again. Hmm. The man with the contract. The man with the contract. Watch the eyes. Ready? Watch the eyes. He's looking at you. They're green. Pointing at the screen because everything's a screen. So now um, what's... Where are we? Oh, yeah. So he's just, he's just singing... Now he's a waiter, right? He's walking into a room full of quote unquote elites uh, and he drops the sugar. Oops. And everybody all looks at him. So along comes our man again. Hey dude, you want to do better than this? You want to do better than be a waiter? Here's your contract. Watch the eyes. Here we go. 
So he walks into a boardroom. Uh, you've got the man there with the, you know, the, the corporate boardroom and the man with his head behind the, uh, behind the, the newspaper. Welcome to the club. Um, and these are the various guys that so far have been indoctrinated into the mind. Watch what this guy does with his finger. Watch what he does. The mind. It's all in the mind. And here he is. Mm -hmm. Come play with me. We don't really want you, but we just don't want the other guy to have you. But then what happens? You know, he realizes what's what's happened. You can see the, the, the blood. You can see the guy laughing. This is going to be very quick, but there you go. Bend him over. Right? Now, look. He wants to get out, and he can't because he signed the contract. Again, I'll leave the I'll leave the link for the, for both of these versions, guys. I'll put I'll, I'll I'll put them in the pinned comments so you don't have to click on the show more. I'll put them in the pinned yeah. comments. Um, go and go and go and have a look. Go, listen to the what um the first one with the, with all the lyrics. Listen to that one first. Read the lyrics, and then click on the second one. It's going to take you less than ten minutes of your time. And I re Harry and I would really love to know what you see. Um, yeah. comment, comment, comment below and let us know what you see. What do you get out of it? Fuck my day up completely yesterday, bro. Not just that, but with with with, with the two Earths, um, Genesis one one, Genesis one two, basically confirming what we've been talking about the copy and paste. Then, before going to bed, seeing that second version of um, of the video which was showing the duality, because when I read the lyrics the, the, the first time, and when I jumped online with you, and even you were like, oh my God, yeah, yeah, I can see it. it's all there. Mm -hmm. We were looking at it from the positive side, and then that video that we've just gone through, that shows it from the, from the negative side, which is the duality once again. Yeah, I mean, you can, you can listen to that song having never seen their rendition on the video side, and think it's just a positive, good message. But when you see what their intent was to expose, you know, I think that broken square is telling you. Without a doubt. Hey, yeah, this, this is a bad system. Yeah. 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 I, 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 I think the I think the broken square is a huge hint because, you know, they were they obviously had to put that song out. They obviously had to put the information out. I mean, we're going back 40 years, bro. Or nearly 40 yeah. years. 1982. Oh, that's mm -hmm. insane. Yeah. Um, but but yeah, I mean, it, it, it all came together for me yesterday. And and where where did that song come from? I mean, just randomly popped into my head. I'm walking around the apartment singing, um, well, singing the singing the song. Give me this day, all that you show me. Give yeah. us now. This was this was a bit of a profound thing, and I I, I want to share this with you because ever since I quote unquote woke up back in 2017 which was with the mandela effect as, as everybody knows um everything and i mean everything that i've learned i have been shown right this all this information you you, you it pops up in your, your feed on youtube or you, you 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 see it um or you know it, 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 nobody's told me any of this i've seen it all for myself so i've been shown that line was so profound to me personally give us give us this day all that you've shown me and i know that resonated with you as well harry you told me because oh, yeah. you said the yeah. same thing i i expressed to you many times and especially even last uh, last night and this morning um Anytime I ever get some kind of understanding or knowing or understanding, it's nothing I'll ever keep to myself. No, absolutely. I, I need it to go out and uh, I need it to touch the, the minds of everyone else that I'm around. Uh, so I'm constantly telling people that I run and interact with all the same stuff that we talk about on our channel. I turn them onto the channel. Uh, again, not that I want you to just listen to me. This is just to open your mind 
and uh, take this uh, suggestion and see if it resonates. Yeah, well, look, I mean, clearly. really, all we're doing is sharing the information that, 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 that yeah. they get. And, and, and to be honest, it was that realization, give us, all of us, this day, all that you've shown me, that is mm -hmm. what literally made my eyes fill up with tears. I mean, I wasn't sad, mm -hmm. but I'm sitting no. there and I, I, I'm literally fucking crying. And I, yeah. I, I don't care who knows it. I'm not embarrassed, but because it was that profound, it hit me like a ton of bricks. Yeah. And, it, and even That's... last night, even and that, that was yesterday morning. And even last night, I was playing it again, and it and it brought tears to my eyes. That scene uh, in the video where uh, they're drawing the chalk outline of the body, and they're showing that it's a filming. That tells me false flag. Yeah. Most everything that we're seeing is always uh either a, like like that shooting that we saw with that actor i'm not saying i'm not saying that it didn't happen but i'm saying could it have been that bald win that it was a ritual i mean the first part of our presentation today the first part of our presentation it was a sex ritual that's all it is it's yep. all ritual. They want they. I mean, the, we've talked about the Catholic Church and how it is steeped in the success of <laughs> of its individuals in there. But it's all at a price, and sex seems to be that ritual that they're talking about. Yeah. But uh, with that shooting, it, it was another ritual. You know, I don't know without, what, what without a doubt. Absolutely, without a doubt. All right, guys, we'll leave it there. Thanks for um, thanks for sticking with us. Welcome again to all our new subs. Oh, and the other thing is, guys, when you um, j just check, make sure that you're still subbed and the bell is um, because we've had a few people um, that have said, I keep getting on the sub. So we, we know what's happening. We know that we're being shadow banned. Um, we, we, we know all that. So, you know, but we're going to keep pumping this uh, this information out there because we're not um, we're just showing you what we see so um anything you want to say before we go bro um just again uh, you know we've gotten near to that 1000 mark uh, of subs but uh yet the viewership still seems to have dropped off uh again i don't think it's true but uh we're obviously being attacked a little bit but um yeah i mean the message is clear you know the copy and paste this is a duality. Go down the middle path. Those, I mean, in a nutshell, that's all we have to focus on. Yep, absolutely. All right, guys, we will see you next time. Thank you once again for uh, for sticking with us. Um, like, share, subscribe, and comment below. Catch you on the next one. Much more. Right. Bye. Take care.